Welcome to Approved with Megan and Wendy, the podcast where we share one product every week that we're currently using and loving. Hosted by me, Megan Samarin. And me, Wendy Nielsen. When the podcast is over, you can find us outside of the podcast on Instagram, sharing other things we use and love and life in general. We're at Megan and Wendy. Hey, if you want to email the show, you can do that. Megan and Wendy at gmail.com. What I really would love is people to email us and tell us what they're using and loving. I'd love that. I mean, I'm so easily influenced. I need to hear what other people like and use. And I'm going to go out and buy myself some. Hey, Wendy, what do you have this week? Okay. So different than anything I've shared in previous weeks. Oh, I'm excited. It's a bra. Oh, I'm listening. I'm Megan, sitting up straight. Up straight. <laughs> Ears are open. <laughs> Neat. Ugh. The bra situation is rough around here. Okay. Well, yes. Let me, a little tiny backstory. This summer, somehow every single like nude color bra that I own got washed with something blue and turned to everything like a blue tint. So I was like, I need new bras. I can't wear any of these anymore. I mean, I, I can, but like. You can't wear them under light clothing. Exactly. You need a bra that's going to disappear against your skin. Exactly. And I'm not sexy. Every single bra I own is a nude bra. Me too. Maybe I, I got a black one in there every once in a while, but sure. that's it. I just was like, I, I'm desperate right now. I'm just going to go on Amazon and just order. Because you can get anything on Amazon. Hey, if you didn't know, you can get <laughs> bras on Amazon from like all the big like names. I know what size I am. So I just ordered some up, right? Well, then I got served an ad. And it is from a brand called Glamorous. It's G-L-A-M-O-R-I-S-E. Would you say glamorize? Yes. Glamorize. Yes. Okay. And... Like rise, like yeah, maybe. But the like bra a lifting situation, sure. But the bra I ordered, and I'm sure they have those is kinds. a minimizer. No, nope. oh, it's a wire free bralette, which I don't love wearing because I like a little lift. Sure, with some wire every once in a while. But like, I also like to be comfortable around the house sometimes. And the wireless bras that I have around the house often make my breasts look like a loaf of bread. Like there is... So what mine look like right now is I'm wearing a wireless bra. <laughs> there is no definition between the no. two. Look, I've got no definition. I can't stand it. I hate it for me personally. Oh no, it's a loaf of bread. <laughs> this bra was so pretty. It's, it's, it's lace. It's a lace bra. It's called the Lux Lace Bralette Wire Free. It has a wide elastic band that is super comfortable, but it also has a traditional hook and eye back closure. And thank God, because I hate like putting bras over my head, you know, like yes. I can't. St I, it's, it's like putting on a sports bra. I, yes. I hate it's like it. wrestling yours into it. Yes. I hate it. It has adjustable shoulder straps, which a lot of like bralettes do not and it has a very pretty lace overlay but it has a silky liner like a silky feeling liner on the inside so i'm looking at it right now it's beautiful and that was going to be my question because the one that popped up is the black one this bra comes in three colors yes and that one i was like is it just lace like are you gonna have like a like a nipple situation, mm -mm. but no. No, it has a very nice, opaque. comfortable, opaque liner. Nice. And I don't like the feeling of lace. I'm very, my skin is very sensitive to like a lot of fabrics. And so I wouldn't opt for like a lace underwear or a lace bra. Mm, it makes mm -hmm. me too itchy. Mm -hmm. So that this has this liner. I love it. It says on the website, Sizes 30 to 58 B through K. They are bras for curvy women. Yes. In my personal opinion, the size I got, the normal size I order in every other bra, is it runs a little big. Interesting. One of the things I really like best about it is that the shape of it, it does not make me look like I'm carrying a loaf of bread under my top. Yeah, I have a lot of definition for a bralette. I'm impressed. Yes, and I have worn it like... Outside of the home, like on a regular day, like normally I would just wear a bralette around the house because I don't like the way it looks. 
sure. this one I thought it looked nice. I am wearing a wire-free, not a bralette, but a wire-free bra, which is what I wear pretty much all the time because they're comfortable, but there's no definition. Mm. It's not cute. I'll tell you that. Mm. Hey, before I move on to my item, I wanted to take a quick second to let you know that we super love your ratings and reviews and wanted to share one really quickly. And this one is from user CKPSC, which says the title is Approved. I've always loved this segment in Long Story Short, so I'm excited for it to continue in a standalone podcast. And hey, thank you so much. Five stars. Yay. Keep them coming. Now we're going to take a sharp left turn for my product. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Is it going to be something to do with a dog? No. No. Is it a cleaning product? Indeed it Look is. Look at me sit up now. It is the Windex Dissolve Concentrated Pod. Mm. Now I have purchased this Probably three times. Mm -hmm. This package comes with two refills to use to refill your Windex. Mm -hmm. And they're like a like a tube-shaped dissolvable pod. And you add them to warm water in your Windex container. You shake it. It dissolves. And boom, you've got Windex. Oh. This is one of the few cleaning product refill situations where it seems like you're actually creating less waste yeah like a lot of refills like a hand soap refill i'm like okay i'm not buying another hand soap container but i have to buy this giant plastic jug or this mm, yeah unrecyclable plastic pouch yeah yeah that i'm still creating waste sure this first of all the pods themselves are completely dissolvable and the packaging is very minimal it's just a small cardboard almost like envelope yeah so that's why i like it it's not like performative eco-consciousness it yeah. feels like you're yeah. actually yeah. doing something i use windex much like the dad in my big fat greek wedding <laughs> for a number of things not as a <laughs> medical product yes. like he does but like i clean all surfaces with it in addition to glass it's just kind of like an all-purpose cleaner mm -hmm. for me so i use it a lot but they do also sell sc johnson sells um a clorox scrubbing bubbles refill oh do they and the brand everspring which is a target cleaning line yeah. they sell um some refill pods for their all-purpose cleaner their bathroom cleaner their floor cleaner um, i have purchased their all-purpose cleaner pods and i like them a lot I would say the biggest challenge is remembering to not throw away your old bottles. Yeah. But you could also use like any sort of like regular spray bottle. Yes. Right? So Windex does sell a starter kit. Like if you don't mm. have the original bottle of Windex. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. so they sell a and it comes it's so this the two refills are four ninety nine. The starter kit is also four ninety nine and it comes with a bottle and one refill. And the bottle is plastic, so there's nothing special about it. But the idea is like I don't want to keep throwing them away. Like I'm trying to yeah. reuse them. And it's reminding my family members like, hey, don't throw that away when it gets empty because I'm just – I try and get to it before they do. Mm -hmm. Windex, the normal size spray bottle, costs $3.48, whereas I can buy the refills for two for four ninety nine. dollars mm. So it is saving a little bit of money. It is a little bit more environmentally friendly. Obviously, you want it to be the products that you use. Clorox used to make a system like this that we bought, and they had like a glass cleaner and an all-purpose cleaner. But the refills were these like plastic cartridges that you'd put into the bottle, and you'd kind of like... Mm, I remember. Yeah. You'd like snap them. Mm -hmm. But uh, this plastic cartridge was then waste. Yeah. Less than a plastic bottle, sure, but I'm not really sure that those could have been recycled. It just felt like... I'm trading one problem for another. Mm -hmm. I have three questions. Okay. One, does it still smell like Windex? In 100%. It is Windex. Okay. Two, do you just use regular tap water to fill it up? That's what it – it's warm water it, or is warm it hot water? water? No, it, it says the actual directions – Place entire pod into the bottle. Slowly fill with 26 ounces of warm tap water. Hmm. Insert sprayer into bottle and twist to tighten. Shake to help pod dissolve. Any visible pod particles will dissolve over time. Your product is now ready to clean surfaces. Here's my concern. I love this item. Here's my concern. If my tap water has a lot of like 
hard water lime mine does and i don't have a i don't notice a problem you're not seeing like any Let sort of weird show you one build that i've used this in i will okay. get a bottle right now. okay now this is gonna make your eye twitch and i'll tell you why because it's not in the wind next bottle yeah okay so i refilled this in a different glass cleaner bottle because we had it mm -hmm. i was trying to again be eco-friendly and of course you can't see through this <laughs> but there are no deposits okay that's what I like, but smells like Windex. Um, yeah, I don't see any like thing like there's no like lime scale in there. Yeah, but then if you're spraying it on things, do you no? Because I guess you wipe it off, so it's not like it's. In my experience, and again, I've purchased this. I've refilled multiple bottles of Windex with these. It performs like Windex. It's not leaving a residue. Yeah. It's not leaving a film, and we do not. Ha we have hard water. Yeah, us too. Here's my other two things. I I wonder, because you know how like Tide have like a child lock on top of the packaging now because people eat them? Yeah. Don't you think, I wonder when this is going to go that way because I feel like they kind of look like Otter Pops a little bit, <laughs> right? Yes, but the except the difference is they're not like loose. Like you'd have to open this open pouch. that package and open that pouch and at that point you people aren't displaying these the way they did mm. their tide pods like, mm. yeah tide pods people put in like a glass container which i understand is pretty people aren't going to be doing that with these okay my last comment and it's a positive one is that i it's not going to sound positive when i say this I absolutely hate that there's two aisles at my Target or Walmart or wherever. It's just like bottle after bottle after bottle of cleaning products mm -hmm. because you say like, let's just say like Clorox has like this brand and then they have like unscented and then lavender. And, you know, it's like a wide range of options. Yes. I would love to see that condensed down where it's just like your bottle and then your little refill pods. Yeah. Like, wouldn't that be great? There there are too many choices. It feels gross to me. It really does. Because if you like over in Europe, it's not like that. No, the grocery stores are much smaller. Yeah. You don't need 18 different brands. No, I don't. I don't need, don't make my grocery store bigger because you need a longer aisle of products. My favorite thing is when someone from another country, they're like, we're going to go to Target. And then they're like, look at the cereal. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Is and then it they're not like, super embarrassing? They're like, look at this giant box of cereal. So that's my approved item. And that's very exciting. I'm going to definitely get myself some of those. Cool. Well, thank you for listening to this episode of Megan and Wendy Approved. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.